Okay, let's take a look at this problem. Integrate f of x, y, z is equal to z over the region above x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared, below x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 25. So we see x squared plus y squared, x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Let's try to do this using spherical coordinates. Okay, so we want to uh, do the appropriate change of variables here. Let's see, what do we know? So x squared plus y squared plus z squared, that is just going to be rho squared. So this curve really here is rho squared is equal to 25, or rho is equal to five. As for x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared, Let's uh, work with this by replacing x, y, and z with the appropriate um, with the appropriate uh, uh, you know spherical coordinates transformations here. I'm plotting through my papers. Once again, here's our conversion chart here. So we'll be using this side right here. X squared is rho cosine theta sine phi squared. Y squared is rho sine theta sine phi squared is equal to z squared rho cosine phi quantity squared. Okay, so, so what does this give us? Rho squared cosine squared theta sine squared phi plus rho squared sine squared theta sine squared phi is equal to rho squared cosine squared phi. Uh, there is a rho squared in every term here. So let's cancel those out. And note on the left here, we have sine squared phi in both of these terms times cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared phi. Cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is one. So this is just sine squared phi is equal to cosine squared phi. Okay, what are the values of phi for which sine squared phi is equal to cosine squared phi? Um, this is equivalent to sine of phi is plus or minus cosine phi. This will have two solutions. Phi is equal to pi over four. Phi is equal to three pi over four. But as we see, we'll only need one of these solutions. Okay, so realize here that the interesting thing is that x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. This ends up just being, this ends up just corresponding to phi is equal to a constant. This is a very nice, you know, this looks nasty, but down here we can see, oh, that, that looks pretty nice when we convert it over to spherical coordinates. Okay, let's draw a picture with the ultimate goal of coming up with bounds on phi and theta and rho. Okay, so phi is equal to pi over four. Okay, so, so that is like we are making an angle of pi over four with the positive z axis, and it can be in, you know, going either side of, of this. Phi is equal to three pi over four would be the same thing, but below the xy plane. We also know that we have rho is equal to five, so sphere of radius five centered at the origin. And so the, the picture that we should be coming up with is that this is an ice cream cone shaped region, including the scoop of ice cream on the top. So we want the region above x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared, below x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 25. 
So it's below the sphere, it's above this cone, the phi is equal to pi over 4. By the way, now we can see why I said we, we are going to ignore this, the phi is 3 pi over 4, because that would be down here. That would be a downward pointing ice cream cone, and we want it to be above x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared, below x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 25. So the region that we're integrating over, let me just kind of pop it out here, it is, it, it, it looks like this, it's an entire, it's both the ice cream cone and the scoop of ice cream on top. Okay, so let's use this to figure out theta, phi, and rho bounds. So theta, th there's no x dependence, you know, specifically on x or y here. We are doing an entire loop around the circle in the xy plane. So theta runs from 0 to 2 pi. Phi, phi is going to be you know, it's the angle that we are away from the positive z-axis. So the positive z-axis is certainly in part of our ice cream cone, so we start with phi is equal to, to zero, and then we go until we hit this boundary right here when phi is equal to pi over four. Now, for fixed value of like rho, or, sorry, of, of theta and phi here, rho, rho can be anything from zero, Rho can be anything from zero. We're, we're starting at the origin here, all the way up until we hit the surface of the scoop of the ice cream cone, so that's rho is equal to five. So something that looked complicated here, uh, you know, integrating f of x, y, z on, on this region, you know, this looks like pretty complicated looking region here. When we convert over to spherical coordinates, all of a sudden we have constant bounds on all three theta and phi and rho. And so our life becomes very, very easy. Theta runs from zero to two pi. Phi runs from zero to pi over four. Rho runs from zero to five. The thing that we're integrating here, f of x, y, z is equal to z. Z is equal to rho cosine phi times, don't forget the rho squared, d rho, d phi, d theta. Okay, so this should be, uh, uh, I am forgetting something, what am I forgetting? Rho squared sine phi, d rho, d phi, d theta. Because this entire thing, rho squared sine phi, that's the extra factor that we throw in here. Okay, so um, I think in the interest of time, this isn't a particularly uh, interesting integral to evaluate, so if my notes are to be trusted, eventually end up with five to the fourth pi over eight here.